haven't filmed in so long. Everything I'm saying is just wrong. Hey y'all, it's all of Destiny. In this video, I will be sharing with you all how to install your own glueless wig at home by yourself. So, if follow along. This is step by step broken down all of the details, girl, from start to finish. I hope you all enjoy this video. It has taken me the longest amount of time ever, ever to get my camera set up. I'm using a new one. Girl, stocking cap, this is like an older one. I went and got my hair braided down. I went to Paul Mitchell. My hair is freshly shampooed and conditioned. I got like a professional wash. Shout out to D-Side. This video is sponsored by White African. I probably already did an intro. I'm not going to do like gluing down all of that. Basically a glueless method is my scalp. I hate to say this in a wig video to make it seem as if I'm blaming the wigs, but but with me having more of a problematic scalp, my scalp just can't handle me wearing wigs for a long amount of time, even if I glued it down for about four days and took it off. So I picked up this velvet wig grip from the beauty supply store today. I've seen lovely Brianna use these on her channel. Everybody's like starting to use these now. She's like one of the first uh, people that I had seen use this a long time ago. Q Fit, the number one brand. This isn't like the exact same one she uses, but this was all that my beauty supply store had. Let's see what the instructions say. It's like a very velvety type of material to hold the wig in place but it doesn't seem ideal to put this over the edges i'm not sure i should have rewatched her video right before doing this eliminates headaches it prevents bald spots secures the wig in place also this is the first video that i'm filming on my new camera i do have the t7i now which is why it took me so long to get set up this quality is good this bump doesn't even look like that in person <laughs> so this is her let me know what we should call her so she does have the blonde streaks right here normally I style my wigs off of my head the curling and all of that I wanted to do a little bit of talking so I could see how my roll mic is sounding I also have a roll mic now I've never used an external mic before so I'm excited about that too she does have the standard comb in the back knots are already bleached so that's a plus the two combs on the side so some companies are starting to remove the one in the middle while Africa is doing just that all of the specs about this hair will be in the description box down below you want to check and see basically how everything is fitted if you were going to glue it down then you also we need to do this go ahead and remove the lace out of the back just using scissors to do this on um, one of my subscribers faith hey faith was asking while we were on live about glueless methods so hopefully this helps you all at home next step after you do that you want to take these adjustable straps on the inside of your wig and just kind of move them inward a little bit try it on for size first to see how you like it i worked with wild african long enough kind of know where to automatically move them to tuck it under here let's see how good the focus is on her oh that was pretty quick this is also like a camera test by the way guys and now it's secured if your wig doesn't have an adjustable band you can sew an elastic band inside of your wig while African does put theirs on already if you want to remove this the good thing about the wigs is it's just removable it's similar to a bra strap so that makes it convenient to already know how that works I'm just going to move mine into the middle not the very first one because that'll be too tight for all day wear for me ah oh, shucks that was the only thing I was afraid of I got the one closest that I could to my skin tone, but mm, I want to bring it to the side like this. Oh yeah. Maybe if I move it back, it's probably too far forward. What I'm doing in the back, I'm trying to take this comb and I'm tucking it underneath. And since I have on a stocking cap, I won't be using any of the combs. We're just going to be relying on this wig grip to keep everything in place for us. That's definitely not snug enough. I have to get back into the habit of knowing that I'm using a monitor now. So the wig grip is holding it in place for us, but for us doing the glueless technique, I don't want to rely on the wig grip just by itself. I'm going to have to use the adjustable straps inside of here because that's going to help us kind of pull the wig down better on our head, especially on the ear tabs. When you see on Instagram and the girls, they kind of lift it up like that. It's because that elastic band is really pulling it right back down to the scalp. The wig grip will keep it from sliding, you know, around, but the adjustable band is just kind of necessary. Putting it back on for the third time. Now you all can see the different feel of what I was trying to explain. We're not going to use the wig grip at all. We'll work with that some other time. Without the elastic band at first, it wasn't able to do this. An elastic band is key for a glueless technique. I know what I didn't do. 
I'm so amateur. How long has it been since I filmed? Oh, I'm upsetting myself right now. I know I could edit around all of this, but Realistic Destiny likes for you all to realistically see how I struggle to do this. It ain't that easy. It's not that easy and you're gonna make mistakes, but just keep going. You have the option of removing the excess lace in the front before or after you lay the edges. Keep in mind that you'll need to go around the edges once they've been laid. That way you won't trim them off. Okay, the next key item to your glue list technique is going to be a foaming mousse. One time I had my wig like really, really, really kind of molded to my head because I styled my hair on my mannequin stand and then I put the hair scarf on top of that. Because of the roundness of this, it was automatically ready to go into that shape in a rounded way that when I put it on my head, it just laid even more flat to my skin. Put the rest of this in hyperlapse because I have a phone call. Decide where you would like to position your part. If your hair is not wet, use a foaming mousse to help guide the hair in that direction. Want to part across the back as well. That helps to cover that last track for us. If you choose to pluck your wig, make sure that you dampen the section with water. Go section by section and just pluck. You can't really mess this up as long as you're moving around. Comb the hair through to see how much you've removed until your hair has been plucked to your liking. Didn't really do that much. Didn't really feel like it. Make a part on the side and you want to cut out your ear tab so that your ears are visible. Make sure you're not cutting off the elastic band if one is already included. Uh, I'm getting the water everywhere, but basically you want to dampen the hair when you do the plucking and make sure that you're pulling the hair from the root, not just shortening the hairs in the front. We've sectioned out for our baby hair and we're going to begin applying the foam and mousse to that section. Using any fine tooth comb or a rat tail comb, take the hair and guide it into a C-curved sort of motion. When you section out for the baby hair, make sure that it's a small amount in the front. Then take some more of the mousse and apply that to the section. Trim down the hair using scissors or a razor and begin to swoop the hair in a C motion. Notice that I use my ring finger to hold the hair down while using the opposite hand to kind of swoop it for me. You can also use this time to remove any excess lace. Now we're going to go ahead and tie down the hair using a hair scarf or you can use a wrap strip. A little more foaming mousse if you would like. While tying this down, we can do makeup and once we remove it, your lace will be laid to the hair. And we didn't have to do the stocking cap method or we didn't use gel, glue, or tape. Look at that, it focuses so well. Watch how it focuses back on me. Boom. I'm gonna take small sections and curl my hair with my new me curling wand. I have the link to it in the description box down below. I haven't done my hair in a long time, so I was struggling. I'm trying to decide if I wanna clip these or not. Do I have any clips? To avoid boring you all, I went ahead and jumped towards the front. I'm kinda off my game. It seems like I've been uploading, just I think I posted a vlog the other day, and I'm pretty consistent as far as trying to get out three videos a week. I just don't have set days. As far as sit down videos go, I haven't really filmed me doing my hair and my makeup in a while, so I'm definitely off my game. The struggle is real, especially with filming, and then I'm filming with a new camera. I don't wanna sound like I'm making excuses, but I just gotta get the hang of everything. I used to use a DSLR actually, but when I moved and with it not being mine, I definitely couldn't bring it with me. I was like, well, I just started using my vlogging camera for all of my videos. If you don't use it, you kind of lose it. So I want this one to go in actually. Everything I knew about DSLRs, I have to relearn. Yeah, I want this one to sort of go inward. It's just an on and off switch on the curling iron. Most irons that just have a standard on and off might be at like 375. So I'm not gonna do my makeup on camera. I like this hair though. This is different for me. The group is like jumping right now. I want to try my hot rollers as like a quick method to curl my hair. Putting them in there while I do my makeup. That'll also also help these curls to sit more while they cool instead of letting them hang and drop. <sighs> I'm about to do the quickest makeup possible. Daylight savings time. Let me know if you guys feel this way, but the closer it gets towards the end. Ooh, forgot my shoulder is out. The closer it gets towards the end of the night, that's when I start feeling kind of thrown off. Maybe it's not that, but I got up and I went to the gym. It was like maybe 8.30. I don't know. I woke up just on my own at like 7 and that's like rare for me. I'm usually up by nine daily. I'm so off, look at that. So yeah, I went to my gym session. I do have a trainer now. How cool is that? If you're already keeping up with me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram, by the way, then you know that I kind of have a, well, you know by now that I have a trainer if you watch my stories. Somebody's at the door. I forget whatever my thought was, but a lot of times when y'all be like, where you been? I be like, where have I been? In the minds of other people, cause to me it's like, I've been on Instagram every day, so I never understand what people mean when they be saying it. But I guess if you're only on my YouTube channel, then it seems like I be gone somewhere. Yeah? Okay. Makeup is done. Hello, hi. 
gonna go ahead now and remove the rollers from the hair undo where you've twisted it and then slide it out gonna take some of the chi keratin silk infusion and run that along the hair while i begin to fluff if you feel that your baby hairs may be too crunchy or you want the more natural look of the baby hair not so stuck down to the head just use your uh, comb or brush them and that'll help them to kind of lift up but they'll still hold their shape just because they've already been set that way fluff the hair to your liking and you can use the curling wand or a flat iron to kind of smooth the hair down further taking the same pressed powder that i use while applying my makeup to help blend the lace what's up mr lincoln okay <laughs> you kiss put put nose but huh we on the bus wheels on the bus go round and round to get your hair even more flat, you can go section by section and flat iron at the root just to pull the hair in that direction. Come here, decide. Look at this single guy I'm wearing it. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to blend it. I don't know whether to. I gotta get ready to go take pictures. I appreciate it, decide. You ain't hit the internet with that yet. I ain't hit them yet. I'm about to. <laughs> So, if you followed all of the steps, your hair should be laid slate at this point. You should be looking oh so luscious and oh so good, like. We have to figure out how we want to take Instagram pictures by ourselves and it's raining. And I know if I go outside, it's a wrap. Let's just, oh, Can we get lots and lots of holding spray? Can we get a hair flip, please? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, Destiny. This is it. Type this is it down below if you're still watching. Follow me on Instagram to see my other looks with this. Probably gonna move the part. I might curl the hair backwards. I know y'all gonna have lots of recommendations for me. This is not the end all be all. I mean, for this video it is, cause I have to kind of get it out. This, the glueless method is perfect for that. It means that I can have a different look on Friday. Swap it out for Saturday. Your hair has to go with your outfit. Hence the, mm, the rest are in the closet. Okay, I'm just running my mouth at this point. Questions and comments, be sure to leave all of that down below. And I thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and click on one of the cards to watch more glueless installs on my channel and click on my cute little face to subscribe it's also free